What's going on guys? JD here from Perspective Captured and today we are talking about importing your footage and setting up proxy files using Final Cut Pro 10.4. So this is going to be a two-part episode. In part one, we're going to talk about how to import your footage so Final Cut Pro 10 organizes it and sets up your proxy files. In part two, I'm going to teach you how to manipulate those proxy files. People say it can't be done, but it can. It can, and I will show you how. A quick side note on how I handle libraries. The library is stored in your movies folder, but doesn't have to be. I immediately move it to the desktop and hard drives and other folders for storage and quick access. I make one speci two specific jobs, such as weddings, YouTubes, YouTube videos, vlogs, etc., where I have saved keywords for organization. All right, now let's open my library and get started. Here we'll take a look at my preferences that I have set up for importing and the proxy workflow. I imagine most people have it set up this way, so I'm going to run through it quite quickly. First, make sure you leave files in place unless you want your libraries to be huge. If you import original media into the library, this will create duplicates of your media in your library. If you choose to leave files in place, it essentially creates a shortcut link or alias. The Final Cut Pro calls these sim links. Big note, either way, you cannot delete your original camera files through Final Cut Pro. Only the imported footage that has been copied or brought into Final Cut Pro can be deleted. All right, so let's take a look here at transcoding. Both of these are generally a process you want to let the computer do while you're sleeping, taking a break, or just doing other things. It's just easier to let the computer do its job and then get back to editing. Unless you have a new special MacBook Pro. Yes, I'm jealous, I'm sorry. I'm just jealous of you MacBook Pro users. Beautiful computer. All right, optimized media. This is a ProRes copy of your imported media that will be stored in your library. We might wanna do this for files like MP4, H.264, and others because they are containers. And this is more stressful for the computer to work with them. So transcoding to an optimized ProRes copy allows the computer to work much more efficiently but it needs a good amount of storage space. So if performance is needed and storage space is not a problem, then you have nothing to worry about, so you should click this box. A little overnight transcoding could save you a good amount of time in the long run of playback quality and rendering. Okay, so here's where we're at, proxy media. What we're here for today, we wanted to make proxy media for the timeline editing purposes. Especially if we have an older, slower computer, proxies are a good solution to be editing in if performance is your need. Proxies are created at half the resolution of your video file. And please note, this cannot be changed or customized. No, it can't. Or can it? I told you this was a two-part episode, didn't I? Because creating proxy or optimized video copies can be time-consuming, when I get home from like a wedding or an event, I usually copy the media to my editing hard drive, set up a new library, and then let the Final Cut Pro make its proxies and transcode as I go to sleep for the night. Um, and then I do my second and third backup to other hard drives the following day. All right, so let me throw some clips down here in the timeline. Now to work in proxies. Click on the drop down menu above the viewer and choose proxy. You will now be working in proxy and don't worry about forgetting to put it back when you go to export. Final Cut Pro 10.4 will do a great job of reminding you. I do not believe you got these messages in 10.3.4 or earlier. If you didn't set proxy for import, you can still transcode your media by highlighting all your media in the browser, then right clicking, select transcode media, then check proxy media. It will then process and make you some good old proxies. If you want to delete your transcoded media or render files, go to File, Delete Generated Event Files. Choose the ones you'd like to delete here. You can undo this command by rebuilding the processes you deleted via rendering or transcoding media for optimized or proxy. In summation, based on our selection, we have told Final Cut Pro 10 to leave our files safe and sound on whatever hard drive you have them on, but optioned out of making a better copy in ProRes format. Then we also asked Final Cut Pro 10 to make a low res copy for which we will use to edit with and complete our intensive editing on. So that concludes the first part of my proxy series. Please leave some comments below. Those life stories of what you have going on 
and let's get that conversation up and running. Thank you so much for watching. Hitting that subscribe button not only helps me, but helps you too. You will feel accomplished today. And if you're feeling good after that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Now get out of here and go make progress. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold.